he could do it. This is what I always felt when I, when I saw this. When I saw other people doing it, then I'm like, you know, I could do this. Like, why not? Like, there's, something, there's something that I can do. So here's Calvin. We have these uh, property tours, right? Come on, Kevin. Come on. You can sit, you here, right, Tom? You can sit right here. Come on, Excuse Kevin. Me. Let's have a seat. Excuse me. We got a pack house today. today. All right, so what, what, what I want you new people to understand is what we do is we have these property tours. And at the property tours, instead of an open house where all we want you to do is just buy the house, what we're doing is we're showcasing how we acquired the house, right? So here we are. Calvin is teaching about acquisition, funding, his exit strategy, and the profit margin. So the acquisition is how he purchased the house. How did, where did he find it? Because that, that's a lot of times, like, how'd you get this, right? Isn't that one of the problems you had, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, how, how did you get it? Right? So that he shows you how to get it. I'm going to say education shows you how to get it, right? which is true. Then the funding. So how, where did he get the money from? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How do you fund these deals? Right? You, you can't go to the regular bank all the time to fund these deals because a lot of them are cash deals. Yeah. right? So where do you get the cash from? We have answers for that, right? And the exit strategy. What made you, what he talks about exactly why and what strategy he used to execute and get out of the deal to make the profit, okay? And of course, the profit margin. That's always the fun one. Always, always the profit, right? Remember, real estate for profit. Sometimes I get people that want to get real estate to find a place to live totally different. Now this is a one we, we that's going on right now in, in Mastic. We just had a property tour there, okay? Uh, I think he got this on an uh, auction, and estimated profit here is supposed to be about forty-two grand. That's his estimated. And again, as you can see, as a community, we showcase what we do. Learn together. We want you to see how it's done, so that you can do it too. Not just buy it from me and you know just spend money. You want to invest in your knowledge so you can learn as well, right? Again, this is me right here, Jason. And again, see, at the property tours, which are great, they, you're learning how acquisition funding, the exit strategy, and the profit margin. Here's what we're doing in Jersey. <laughs> Who was interested in Jersey? That was you, right? All right. So Carlos is called, just raise your hand, Carlos, right? He, he, this is already done. This is sold and done. He already flipped this property, okay? Those are his numbers. He had 203. Uh, he had an oops factor. I'll let you, you can tell him what happened. Um, basically, um, I didn't do a tank scan when I got into it. So when we sold it, the buyer did a tank scan and then we found an underground tank. Um, mm -hmm. When we did the inspection initially, I had no reason to believe that there was an under, underground tank, so I didn't do a tank scan, um, which kind of bit me at the end. So the buyer did a tank scan. You know, how often do buyers actually do tank scans? That was a surprise. So he did a tank scan, and then we found a tank. And so the attorney advised the buyer not to buy the property, which wasn't a big deal. All I had to do was remove the tank. So the buyer backed out, we removed the tank, and because the buyer backed out, it caused me to hold the property after three months. And so I had to remove the tank, which cost about 4,000. I had to re-landscape the area, which about another 2,000. And I had to hold it for three months. So altogether, um, because I didn't do a tank scan in the beginning, and it cost me about 15 grand uh, in extra cost, which wiped half the profit out. So we projected to make about 30,000, 31,000 on it. And uh, because of the tanks, because of the tank, uh, it cut half our profit. Right. So then, his profit was about half of, half of thirty. Who's right. okay with that? I mean, <laughs> who's okay? Who with that? You're not complaining, right? <laughs> Who would complain, right? Both times they sold in less than a week. So I put it up on the market twice, and within the week, in less than seven days, I got offers on it both times. So um, I could have sold it before three months. Um, but I didn't want to sell it until I got a certificate from the state of New Jersey. 
So I made a decision to not put it back on the market until after I got that. I could have put it in the market right away, but then I risked not having a, having a paperwork issue and still not being able to sell. So I held on to it for an extra three months until I got that document from the state. So do your due diligence. So we have NYC, Bronx, Long Island. Um, we got New Jersey.